Cam, was there kind of just a sense of relief among the team, you know, just hearing about Vaughn and Ethan that maybe their, their injuries aren't, aren't too serious? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, those two guys are definitely uh, a great part of our offense. And um, to see that the relief that our brothers are okay um, just gives us our relief for them. Sorry, what you say? Where do you feel like you're maybe a more complete player up front on the defensive line this season? I feel I was lacking in the run game last year a little bit, so I feel like in the run game I'm doing a little bit better, placing my hands and holding my points. You look pretty active getting after the quarterback the first couple of games. Are you, you feel more explosive than a year ago? I do. I felt very stiff last year, and I'm not too sure why, but this year I feel a little bit looser and feel a little bit more you know, comfortable being out there and playing, so I feel a little bit better this year. Cam, I think Coach said you played like 90 or 93 snaps or something on Saturday. What'd you do for recovery? How tired were you? Um, not really tired. I'm um, just trying to help um, in any part of the game. Um, just help this team out. And um, as far as recovery, just coming in, getting in the cold tub, getting in the standing treatment room, um, continue to stretch and things like that, and just keep my body in tip-top shape. How does uh, Coach Jones expect I guess, to change the role a little bit, though? I mean, he said that you and a bunch of other guys are playing too many reps. What do you expect to be different this week? What do you think you might be held out of? Is just going to be less special teams? How do you think things are going to change for you? Um, I don't expect anything different. Um, I'm accustomed with playing 80, 90 snaps per game. And um, like I said, I'm just willing to do anything to help the team out. And um, if it's far, if it goes as far as playing 90 or so snaps a game, then I'm willing to do it. Corey, the defense has had a lot of success on third down and being able to get off the field. What do you think has helped you guys be so successful? I think it's just our overall effort to the ball and just our total swarm and everything. We stress that a lot this offseason and during camp. So I feel it's our swarm to the ball and just, you know, playing as one unit. That really helped us. Do you feel like you're getting to the quarterback more as a team? Uh, yes, man. I feel as a collective group, we're getting to the quarterback more, especially than last year. You know, we've had two mobile quarterbacks, and they've been running around a lot. So that means we're pressuring and we're pushing the pocket, and we're making them, you know, think on the feet. Okay, was it difficult to not think ahead to this Oklahoma game? You're going on the road against a top five team. I know you guys try to take it one one day at a time. Was it difficult as a player to not get ahead of yourself and look at the same? Um, I don't think so. Uh, like I said, like in our program. Uh, we just have to take it day by day, and um, leading up into this week, we know we're, we know we're getting into this week on the road, we're going on the road, and uh, we're going against a top five great team, and uh, we just got to be ready and be prepared and ready to play. Cam, what are you telling the younger guys about going on the road and into such a hostile environment? Uh, road games are just big. Just got to come in there, be confident. Um, they're going to have the crowd on their side, so we like we just got just got to go out there, play our game. We got to have a great week of practice and preparation throughout the week, and um, just go out there and play our game. Cam, yeah, I don't know how much film you've been able to see of them so far, but number three for them, Sterling Shepard's coming off a huge game. Just that, that particular receiver, what about him? Uh, he's definitely a complete receiver. Um, has a knack for the ball. Uh, plays the ball well in the air. And um, just as a secondary, we just have to do a great job of containing them. And um, they're going to get their plays. We know that as a, as a defense, uh, we just have to limit those plays and explosive plays. Is it frustrating that you had the opportunity to field a lot of punts, but you haven't had the chance yet to, to return one? Is that Emotions kind of build up, waiting for that one big chance to return one? Uh, no, sir, it doesn't. Um, at this point right now, uh, my job is just to uh, make sure I secure the punts and um, keep the field position for our offense. And um, if I get the opportunity just to return, um, just make the most of that opportunity. And like I said, uh, keep our offense a great field position. Where do you see out of their offensive line? I have Oklahoma's offensive line. If you look at them much, where do you see out of their tackles? Yeah, I looked at them last night. They're definitely, you know, a bigger group, you know, across the board. They're a lot bigger, 6'3", 6'4", 6'6", you know, well over 300 pounds. So they're a big group. You know, they're definitely going to be trying to lean on you in the run game. So we're definitely going to have to anchor down and, you know, get ready for that run game. Do you expect that teams, will, that teams like Oklahoma and those teams will try to run right at you, something y'all haven't seen really yet from the first two opponents? Yes, sir, definitely, because I feel they feel we're undersized, you know, across the board. So they're definitely going to try to do that. And we just got to make sure, you know, we hold our points and we do our job. When you are undersized, how do you how do you combat that? You basically you combat that with leverage and strain, as Coach Strip talks about. You just stay in your gaps, you know, stay low, keep your eyes red, and just your eye integrity and your gap integrity. That's how you combat that. What are y'all's comments as a team heading into this game against Oklahoma, uh, as compared to where it was last year when you guys were two and zero going to Oregon? 
Um, we're very, we're very confident team. Um, we know what we're capable of, and um, like I said, uh, just having a great preparation throughout the week and um, great week of practice is um, definitely going to be a determining factor um, in this game. Anything else? What do you guys think of Oklahoma in the Big 12? What comes to mind? When I think of Oklahoma, I just think of one, te one team. They're sound. You know, they don't make a lot of mistakes. They're very explosive, got a lot of skill, but we're not making this a conference thing. We just see them as a team, a really good football team that we have to play. Cam, when you watch watched film on just special teams in general, what have you seen that's been good and what hasn't been so far? Um... As far as special teams, I think we're doing a great job of protecting our punters and um, our kickers. Um, our op time has, has been pretty pretty well as, uh, so far, um, but it can always be better. And um, we just got to keep flying down the field and, and impacting the returners and uh, making a difference down there. Corey, why do you think you guys have had more success in paying the mobile quarterbacks than you did last year? Because, as I said, we're undersized, but – that also gives us a speed advantage. We can move a lot more. We can blitz a lot more. We can do a lot more things as opposed to the last group who was a little too heavy and a little too slow at times in the uh, past game.